After a week of rescue operations, it's still raining in Inanda on the outskirts of Durban. Dozens of people are still missing. This is one of almost 200 rescue operations. The terrain is still very slippery. People have been asked to evacuate, and there is now no chance of finding anyone alive. Police dogs are used to find bodies that are buried in the mud. I reckon, I reckon the dogs need to go down first, identify, and then we know where we're going. Kenneth Kamalo is a neighbour of the Magwazi family who was wiped out. The house that was built here actually washed away by the uh, landslide. The mother survived, the father passed on. The two kids, we're still looking for them, they're still missing. The bodies of the children were never found. More than 400 people have died, many buried alive. Some blame the high death toll on poor infrastructure. We came out and we saw the walls are moving, moving down, and the wall was pushed there, the first house. We saw the house moving and the second house moved too. Bridges collapsed and roads were swept away. Here it rained as much in one day as it normally would in nine months. This engineer saw shipping containers being washed away. They just got uplifted and they were floating down the freeway. I would say about maybe about seven, eight kilometres that they washed down the bridge with, with the floods. Rescue teams from across the country are on their way to assist local disaster relief efforts. The Premier of the province admitted that they need help. We welcome the support from sister provinces. We are truly appreciative of this humanitarian assistance. The cost of this natural disaster is still being calculated, but road damage alone is estimated at more than 200 million euros.